In today's video, we have an upgrade priority guide, laboratory starter guide, and my best advice for you as a new Town Hall 14. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome to episode one of the Town Hall 14 free to play series. Free to play meaning no gem buying, no gold pass, and no special offers. You guys know the deal after 34 months of grinding Clash of Clans. I know, let's admire that new Town Hall level for a second. That thing is so pretty. <laughs> but for those of you out there that don't know, this is the traditional way to play Clash of Clans. And a lot of players out there don't really prefer it. I mean, it takes a while, you know what I mean? So much work goes into playing this game without spending any money. Now, when you first get to the new Town Hall 14 level, you're going to activate the new Town Hall boost for the next five days. There's nothing new about this. We've all experienced this countless times, but you do unlock a new scenery in the jungle scenery. Now, this is something that most of you guys won't see until you get to Town Hall 14. And when we jump into the shop, we do have some new items. We have the brand new pet house at Town Hall 14. 15 million elixir for 13 days to build that building. And then once it's built, we gotta upgrade it three more times. So I think we're gonna hold off on that building for a couple of weeks and I'll explain why in the priority guide. Let's go ahead and get into our defenses. We get 25 pieces of new wall and we also unlock five new traps in the bomb, giant bomb, skeleton trap, air bomb and seeking air mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and build all these new defenses and then we'll get into the priority base. So this is our brand new Town Hall 14 upgrade priority base. I will link it down in the description below if you would like to follow along with me. Now, if you did finish up Town Hall 13 and follow our upgrade priority guide, you should have this large group of buildings that do not need to be upgraded at Town Hall 14. Thankfully, we've already maxed out our army camps, our barracks, our dark barracks, spell factory, dark spell factory, all the gold mines, elixir pumps, dark elixir drills, and some traps. That's a really large chunk of elixir-based buildings that we don't have to worry about. So we're gonna be focusing more on our offense just like all the previous levels to this one. I know that a lot of you guys are gonna be really wanting to get into the defenses, but you're not gonna be able to upgrade hardly any any of these defenses until you upgrade your storages. This is one of the downsides of playing free to play. So the very first building that we're gonna start by upgrading is naturally going to be our laboratory. And when we jump into the laboratory at Town Hall 13, we did manage to max out just about every single item in here minus the wall wrecker, which still has four days on this upgrade. Now this upgrade is a 12 million elixir for 12 days. I'm gonna go ahead and use a hammer of building to knock this upgrade out. That way we can jump into upgrading of troops from the start once that siege machine concludes. So the next building or the second upgrade that I would recommend to you to do is the clan castle. Now the June 2022 update just came out. So this building changed from a gold upgrade to an elixir upgrade and it's 19 million elixir. That's, that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous, huh? We will be using a hammer of building. The reason why we want to build this or upgrade it is a 20 day build and you unlock one storage capacity. So you can bring a rage and a poison or you can bring a rage and a freeze spell. I mean, there's a lot more options when it comes to attacking with that additional spell. So next we have the heroes and you guys, a lot of you guys, some of you are just like, I don't like doing heroes. They take forever. But one of the best parts about the update that just dropped is that we do not need resources to train our armies anymore. 
I mean, that means that we can save our Dark Elixir for hero upgrade. The downside right now as a free-to-play player is that we cannot upgrade our Barbarian King or our Archer Queen with the current capacity of 300,000 Dark Elixir. We have five levels per hero that need to be upgraded. The Grand Warden goes to level 55, the King and the Queen go to level 80, and the Royal Champion goes to level 30. We need to prioritize these from the start, that way we can get back into Clan War or continue our pushing in Legends League. Right now, as you can see, we're still in Legends League, but once I start upgrading these heroes, we're more than likely gonna have to drop out until they're finished. We'll see how it plays out over the next couple of weeks. So we do have some Dark Elixir that we can spend, and we do have a Book of Heroes here in the Season Pass. Let's go ahead and claim that Book of Heroes. We're going to spend the Dark Elixir on the upgrade for the Royal Champion, put her down, use the Book of Heroes to get her finished. That way we can use her later on. Now the next item that we're going to upgrade here is the Dark Elixir Storage. It's going to cost us 12 million elixir, and we do happen to have a book of building. So I think we're going to go ahead and move into our storages next. I know this is like really, really depressing in a way because a lot of us want to go ahead and get into heroes. We want to start upgrading that town hall. We want to build the pet house. But the problem here is that we're going to have to slow down for about two weeks, I think. What is it? 12 days per upgrade. So about a month, right? About a month and knock out our elixir storages and our gold storages. So we went ahead and upgraded three out of the four elixir storages. That leaves us with three builders remaining. Now here's the thing. Our top priority is to get these storages maxed out as quickly as the game will allow. That way it does not hinder us from doing other upgrades around our base. However, we are in Legends League still. We still have seven attacks for the day and we also have a four time star bonus. So I really don't want to waste resources by putting all my builders down on storages and then having to wait for the next 12 days so if we get enough dark elixir we're going to more than likely put the archer queen down for upgrade and then inside of our clan games we have a reward worth a book of heroes over here as well after the heroes get really close to being maxed out we're going to be building the pet house next <laughs> On the screen, you will see that we have our brand new pet house being built, and we're gonna go ahead and use a magic item. That way we can show you the level one pet house. Now we select this little option here that says pets, and we go inside. We will unlock our very first pet, which is called Lassie. Now when we select the information icon for Lassie, this is where it is revealed that it has individual stats, it has a level associated with this new unit. It also has a special ability in high jumper and then all the other information regarding this brand new pet. Now, in order to unlock the other three pets, we will need to upgrade the pet house. So of course, more resources and more time to unlock the other pets. And so in order to upgrade the pet house to level two and unlock the Electro Owl, it's gonna cost us 17.5 million elixir for 15 days let's go ahead and do that use some gems that way we can finish it and then upgrade to level three which is going to unlock the mighty yak at 18.5 million elixir for 17 days oh my goodness <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and use some more gems to finish that and let's go ahead and upgrade the pet house to level four which will unlock the unicorn at 19.5 million elixir for 19 days so equally as long as it takes to upgrade the town hall itself so hopefully you have some magic items that way you can finish these and start working on your pet after we get the pet house going and get close to finishing up with our heroes we're going to move into upgrading our town hall which has four more levels to go in order to increase the hit points of that building and strengthen the power of the giga inferno tower and the poison bomb that releases at level five next we're going to move into our siege machine workshop to unlock the flame flinger it's a very popular siege machine and i'm sure my clan mates might request it so I might upgrade that that way I can start training and using the flame flinger after that We're gonna work our way into the builder huts 
the Builder Huts are no longer an idle building at Town Hall 14. They, in fact, upgrade three additional levels in order to unlock the Battle Builder Hut, which is actually very useful on defense when it comes to rebuilding weakened defenses or Town Hall. After that, we're going to move into traps. And at the same time, while we're doing traps and Battle Builder Huts and stuff, we're going to be using hammers more than likely to upgrade things like the Eagle Artillery and the scatter shot inferno towers and the expos so the hammers of building are really going to be used a lot to get some levels on those top priority defenses and then the same routine when it comes to wizard towers uh hidden teslas air defenses arch towers etc etc you guys know the deal no change to how we did those at town hall 13. <laughs> Now jumping into the laboratory, you'll see that we have a bunch of new options that need to be upgraded in the Barbarian and the Archer and the Dragon and the Healer and the Yeti. There's just all sorts of things that need to be upgraded here. And I know that I've mentioned the hammer of building a lot in reference to upgrading the eagle artillery and the inferno towers and stuff like that we're not going to be doing those for at least three months i mean it's not going to happen right away because we are playing free to play and we have to juggle this act between strengthening our offense doing our heroes, but also unlocking and upgrading troops of importance at this level. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus in on upgrading our dragon, our balloon, and our dragon rider to start out with. It's really hard to determine what's gonna be in meta around six months from now because we just saw an update recently where we saw a slight buff on the Valkyries. So who knows if they're gonna be coming into the meta or not or become more popular amongst players. But as of right now, I think for me, the safest action is to upgrade those troops in the Dragon Balloon and the Dragon Rider. And we're gonna be going back into what we did back in Town Hall 13 where we were using the hammer of fighting a lot in the beginning to try to strengthen our laboratory, really focus in on maybe one or two war type armies first, and then we're gonna be using those hammers of buildings to get those major defenses done. Does that make sense? I don't wanna confuse you too much. All right, so I think at this town hall level, I believe it's safe to say that this is probably the point where you really should buy a gold pass, okay? I know a lot of players out there at this level want to be a lot more competitive, and it can get a little boring. You need to understand, for me, this whole free-to-play thing is an experiment to see if it can be done before breaking. You know what I mean? Where you just get so tired of playing like that that you're just like, I just want a war. You know what I mean? So when we look at the Clash Ninja website, this is where we are on day one with our completion status 63 percent structures complete 77 percent done in our laboratory 83 percent with the heroes zero percent on the pets and 54 percent done on the walls when we get into the stats and take a look at what we have left for time, remember this is without the gold pass and no boost activated. We have 11 months, 20 days, and nine hours for the structures and the heroes. We have 12 months, 15 days, 12 hours within our laboratory. So this is where those hammers of fighting are gonna come into play to try to speed up that laboratory a little bit, as well as help with the upgrading of major end defenses like the Eagle Artillery. And these numbers are hard numbers based on your builders and lab being consistently upgrading. This does not include the use of those hammers or the books or any other magic items that you are able to obtain from doing the clan games. But let me know your feedback down below and we will see you in the next video.